Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share kind of my routine and habits that I have for keeping your circulation in your seat muscles and your thigh area, kind of just keeping that circulation healthy. And I've just sort of developed these habits over time because I spend a lot of time sitting for my work or editing videos. And so that area kind of gets soft and jiggly on me pretty quickly and cellulite can occur. So I want to share some of these tips with you guys to help keep that at bay. I didn't understand a word you were saying to begin with. So one thing that I do in my morning routine every single day is I drink a full liter of water first thing as I'm getting ready for the day. And I make sure I finish that liter by the time I'm done getting ready. And then all throughout the day, I drink at least another two liters of water. And you can, you know, spice it up a bit, add some mint or lemon if you want, or even like fruit or berries to your water if you want some flavor to it. Oh my God, me. One of my favorite cardio activities to do is running and I love being out in nature so if I can do it out on the beach on the sand that's my favorite place to do it or on a trail and it just really helps keep me motivated. I also like to do a lot of low impact cardio like swimming and brisk walking. Those are excellent for stimulating your circulation as well. I like to change up my workout flows pretty often, but here's one of my favorites I'll share with you guys today. We'll start with a series of hip raises, so just start with your feet at hips width apart and press your hips up towards the sky. And then midway through, change to a pulse hip raise, so you're just making very tiny movements, keeping all the muscles engaged. next hip raise, you're going to bring your feet to the outer edge of your mat and you're going to lift your toes in the air. Your toes are going to be pointed outward and you're going to be grounded into your heels and then continue with your hip raises. And now we're going to pulse that hip raise. Now hold that hip raise and you're going to pulse your knees outward. So it's just going to be very small movements in and out with your knees. For the next hip raise, you're going to bring your feet in together, pull your feet up closer to your seat, and then lift your heels. So you're going to be doing these hip raises on your toes. on your toes, you're going to pulse those hip raises. Now we're going to do a single leg hip raise. So you can lift your leg either in line with your body or it can be vertically straight up in there, whatever is most comfortable for you. And when you're ready, switch legs and repeat on the other side. Next, we're doing the kneeling butt lift, and so you're going to get on your knees and then relax your upper body down to the ground. Forearm should be down on the ground, so your upper body is heavy and grounded, and all of this movement is going to be coming from your glutes and thighs, and you're using the weight of your upper body completely relaxed to work out your glutes and thighs. And throughout the exercise, just let your hands rest on the ground. Fingertips should be remaining on the ground throughout the entire movement. That way you know you're not coming up too high. And next we'll do a series of leg raises. So remove the sway out of the back, kind of straighten that out, pull the belly button inward so your core is engaged, and you're gonna stretch your leg back and do some very small leg raises. So all the movement should be stemming from the glutes, and if it is, it's gonna be very small motions. And when you're ready, switch legs and repeat on the other side.
For this next leg raise, again, you're gonna remove the sway from your back, kind of straighten it out, stretch your left leg back, and do tiny circles. These are gonna be very small movements because all of the movement should be stemming from your glutes, and so it's gonna be very tiny. And then switch directions with the circles. And when you're ready, switch legs and repeat. For any of you guys that aren't able to do exercises from a kneeling position, you can also do variations of these exercises from a standing position. So right now we're doing the leg raise circles, and then when you're ready, switch directions of the circles. understand a word you were saying to begin with. Now this is a habit that I've gotten into just whenever I happen to be at the beach. It's not like a strict routine or anything, but sometimes I'll just take a handful of wet sand and I will just massage that into my skin. So those kind of cellulite prone areas, you know, the thighs, um, any of those kind of jiggly areas, I find it just really is helpful to kind of just stimulate the lymphatic system. Almost seven years. And just like any other scrub, it does a great job of keeping your skin smooth, super soft, and exfoliated. And if you live by the beach, it's free and you have an endless supply. I've also been doing dry brushing for the past few years and it's one of my favorite kind of just, you know, body treatment routines that I do. I do this every day before my shower usually and so I'll start in just small circular motions at my feet and work my way up. And dry brushing is great for stimulating your lymphatic system and also your circulation. So the hamstring area, the glutes, um, anywhere where you're sitting there's a lot of pressure that can take away and kind of inhibit the circulation and natural flow of your lymphatic system in that area. And so that's definitely, you know, where cellulite likes to creep up if you notice the back of the thighs under there, the booty area. And so kind of brushing and re-stimulating after sitting for long periods of time can help kind of bring back your circulation and get that lymphatic system moving again. So you brush in the same direction as your lymphatic system flows, so that's why you start at your lower extremities, so starting at your feet, working your way up your body, and then up your arms. You're working your way towards your heart, which is the last area. And then the brush that I have is the Yerba Prima. I got it on Vitacost. And the food we eat makes all the difference in the performance of our bodies. I'm all about that whole foods, plant-based diet, and I want it to be as colorful as possible. I hope you like these routine type of videos. Let me know if you do. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys!